Hello friends. Since a long time we are using fossil fuels for our energy requirements. It is mainly used for generating electricity. But we know that fossil fuels would not continue to fulfill our energy up till the humanity. So there is a great need for developing such source of energy that could enlighten us in future. Still we have many renewable sources of energy but very few of them are commercially viable. Sun, as we know producing unlimited energy which could be used, but not with solar cells. So, what about creating a small star on Earth? A star which could be bottled. And here comes fusion energy. Fusion energy is produced when lighter nuclei fuse together to form a heavy nucleus. Enormous energy produced by the fusion reaction. It seems like the nuclear fission reaction, but there is a difference of sky and ground between them. This reaction powers the star and heat it up to 14 million degrees Celsius. It is possible to build a setup which could start a fusion reaction on Earth, as we have developed the hydrogen bomb which work on the same principle but utilizing it for the production of energy is still a tricky job because we don't have a technology by which fusion reaction can be controlled. Scientists have proposed two reactors which can hold the stable fusion reaction. First one is magnetic confinement reactor. And second one is inertial confinement reactor. Magnetic confinement reactor. A magnetic confinement reactor consists of superconducting electromagnets which compresses extremely hot plasma and create enough pressure which could hold fusion reaction in it. One of these reactor is being made in the France named ITER. It is a joint experiment between many countries such as US, China, Japan, UK, Russia, Korea, European unions, and in fact, India. This project was started in 2013. Until 2015 it consumed about 14 million US dollars. India is making cryostat for the reactor which would keep the reactor cool at minus 269 degrees Celsius so that the reaction would not turn into explosion. The reactor is estimated to be completed in 2025 and in 2035 it would be in full operation. Now, inertial confinement reactor. In inertial confinement reactor, Several laser beams are targeted at a small hydrogen pellet. Typical fuel pellets are about the size of a pinhead and contain around 10 mg of fuel. In practice, only a small proportion of this fuel will undergo fusion, but if all this fuel were consumed it would release the energy equivalent to burning a barrel of oil. The largest operational ICF experiment is the National Ignition Facility NIF, in the US, Even we are developing these expensive technologies, still we can't say that these reactors will give away for a brighter and pollutionless future. They are still an experiment. But if they succeed in doing this then we can make energy from water as much as it is produced by a whole barrel of oil. But hats up for those scientists who cares about our future more than we do. A video like this requires a lot of effort, research, and time. If you like our work then give a thumbs up and ensure that you are subscribed my channel to get all the science and technology related videos. And thanks to all the 22 subscribers for supporting me. Even though 22 subscribes are less but also a good start for any YouTube channel. Thanks for all again.